it's an event where a lot of people are coming together, a lot of businesses, different organizations wanting to make a difference in veterans' life. There we go. 12.45. <laughs> Grand Canyon University, uh, they help us out tremendously and uh, major sponsors are, are a big part of this. Bechtel is big on just in general community involvement. Coca-Cola is uh, Glendale's best, they're always there to help. It's great to be part of something a little bit bigger than myself. Um, it's just a lot of fun, we love to be able to give back to our community. This money's gonna make a big, huge difference in the lives of the amount of children. We served almost 5,000. Cash donation would give us the ability to go out into the community and specifically buy a certain vegetable. You can save a life if you donate blood. You know, this is a time of year where people need blood and, and uh, Glendale's got some great citizens that are willing to come up, step up and make a difference. If you haven't given lately, you need to come down here. Right now, we do have a drastic blood shortage. This is unprecedented times. Every time the wall comes um, in an area that I'm at or if I'm in Washington DC um, I stop and make sure that I spend time at the wall and I, I make sure I come and look at his name. Well, we're starting a ride in Glendale Airport. We're going to go down to what used to be ISM, it's now called Beach Raceway. We'll be doing a lap run to racetrack. And then we're going to go to Luke Air Force Base, and then we're going to go over to the football stadium. A good afternoon, Glendale employees. I know the last few weeks have been unique, maybe even stressful for many of you. I do want to thank each of you for all you continue to do throughout the city to ensure our water is safe, our streets are maintained, our landfills operating, and our residents have access to essential and emergency services. Um, right now we're giving um, one bag of food and one bag of cleaning products. Convoy of Hope has dropped off a lot of food for us and other cleaning products, and so our goal today is to see how many people we can touch in the community. So we are so lucky and blessed to have so many awesome and amazing regulars. And buying gift cards, sharing with their friends, um, so that's really kept us afloat. Definitely happy to be open. Oh my gosh, I could not believe how emotional I got being able to put my sign out front and to turn my open on. I'm grateful. Yeah, I was due in March. A, a lot of people are fearful to come back. Just because we can doesn't mean you should. Every day of our life, we manage risk. You know, life needs to go on. We need to have hope and trust that, uh, you know, our leaders are doing the best they can. so excited to have finally opened up again for our customers who've been calling and wanting us to be here. And we want to be here. What is it, 60 days of closure. Um, a lot of them have been in every single day just to help support. 
wanting to help veterans, wanting to make a difference with their veterans. God gives us these amazing, I get emotional talking about it, biochemical reactions when we feel so beautifully blessed. Stay disciplined, stay safe, stay blessed, and thank you Lisa, Nico, Jerry Wires, Nancy Perry, all the beautiful people, and most importantly, our veterans.